Amen. 2,000 years ago, Jesus died on the cross for us. Um, tonight, just um, about an hour, I want to talk to us on the power of the cross. On the power of the cross. Hallelujah. You know, two weeks ago, Pastor made a profound statement. He said, the problem of mankind began in a garden. The garden of Eden. Amen. And the solution also began in a garden. The garden of Gethsemane. Hallelujah. He also said, the problem of man began on a tree. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And also all the problems of man were solved on a tree. The cross of Calvary. Can I hear a big amen? Can I hear a bigger amen? amen? You know, pastor also said the cross is the biggest regret of Satan. The biggest regret that Satan has is the cross. You know, the Bible said for if the princes of darkness knew, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Amen. And I also want to say tonight, which is also what pastor said, that the cross is God's last card amen an example there's a story you know there's a story in egypt in egypt god sent moses go and tell pharaoh let my people go that they may serve me and moses will go and tell pharaoh and pharaoh kept negotiating the freedom and the salvation of the jews in egypt and God said to Moses, I'm going to still bring one more plague on the nation of Egypt. And after I bring this plague, Pharaoh will throw you out completely. Can I hear an amen? And God gives Moses an instruction that every family should kill a lamb. A Passover lamb. And the Bible tells us that Jesus is what? I can't hear you. That Jesus is what? Our Passover lamb. And when they killed the Passover lamb in Egypt, that same night, God appeared in Egypt and killed all the firstborn in the land. And Pharaoh called Moses and said, all of you can go. Go and serve God. Go with your children. Go with your cattle. Go with everything. Hallelujah. Because the cross is God's last card. And once he plays that card, it's over. Can I hear an amen? Pharaoh allowed the children of Israel to go. Told them to go with everything. And tonight, that is the night of the cross... Everything Jesus died on the cross, Satan will, will allow you to go free with it tonight. Can I hear an amen? amen? Tonight you're living with freedom from sin. Amen. Tonight you're living with healing. Amen. Tonight you're living with freedom from causes. Amen. You're living with every single thing that Jesus died for. Amen. Can I hear a big amen? amen? Can I hear an amen? amen? That means tonight every sick person is going free. Amen. Every oppressed person is going free. Every poor person is going free. Yeah. Everybody harassed by curses is going free. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay, in John chapter 18, you know, we find a powerful story there. When they came to, to arrest Jesus from verse 4. You know, they came to arrest Jesus. And Jesus had been with them for three and a half years doing ministry. And they couldn't kill him. They did everything to kill him. They could not kill him. But finally, Judas betrayed him. Amen. And they came to take him. But let's see what happened. Verse 4. Can we read it together? Jesus therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom what? Whom seek ye? Who are you looking for? Verse 5. They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. 
Jesus said unto them, I am he. And Judas also quit betrayed him, stood with them. Verse 6. As soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went back one and what? And fell to the ground. 600 soldiers, including Judas, 601, all of them went under the power. Hallelujah. Because Jesus was not captured. He was not taken by force. He said, I have power to lay down my life. I also have power to take it up. Amen. Finally, he lifted the power from them. You know, and they got up. And he asked them the question again. Verse 7. Can we read it together? Then asked he them again. Whom seek he? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Verse 8. He gives them the condition. And gives Satan the condition. It's only on this condition I will, add, I will submit myself to be arrested. Only on this condition that I'll submit myself to be killed. Can I hear an amen? So let's find the condition. Can we read it together? Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore you seek me, let Peter go his way. Let John go his way. Let James go his way. Let PCJ go his way. Can I hear an amen? amen? And you can put your name there. Let who go her way. Amen. Let who go his way. Amen. So Jesus was simply saying, anything I suffer, they cannot suffer. Anything I pay for, they cannot pay for it. Anything I go through, they cannot go through it. Because it's unjust for two people to go through the same thing. Can I hear an amen? amen? And he said to Satan, deal or no deal? And Satan said, deal. He said, I surrender myself. I surrender myself. You cannot take me. Let's go. Whatever you want to do to me, you can go ahead and now do it. But after you do it to me, you can't do it to them. You put sickness on me, you can't put sickness on them. You put curses on me, you can't put it on them. You kill me, you cannot kill them. Can I hear a big amen? amen. Somebody shout, I have gone my way. I have gone my way. One more time, I have gone my way. I have gone my way. Everything Jesus has died for, I will not pay for it again. 